The two-day course in agroecology, one day at FarmEd, one day here at my farm, Conigree Farm, has been a wonderful two days. We've explored the principles of agroecology, the practices on the ground, we've looked at problems and opportunities in real time on real farms and market gardens. We've done lots of peer-to-peer -peer learning too and storytelling around the campfire. And of course we've had great food. I've learnt a lot and I think everyone on the course has learnt a lot too. People often ask, what is agroecology? To me, agroecology is all about farming with nature. It's about diversity, it's about people. It's about finding the synergies, it's about equity, it's about doing things differently. It's deep, it's a set of principles and it's a set of practices. The Landmarkers Alliance is a union for small-scale farmers and we also try and encourage a new generation of farmers to come forward and understand agroecology, how to work with the natural environment in order to produce the food that we need, but also how to work for a better, fairer food system, one that's free of corporate control, one where we, more people have access to land, where there's more diversity and inclusion in the farming sector. So we get people from all different backgrounds coming into farming so that you know good food is accessible to people on any income level. Uh, and that we really look after our animals and have high animal welfare standards. So all those things are really important to train a new generation of people up in how to farm like that. It might be people who are changing farming methods, it might be people who have never gone out into the land before in their life, it might be people who have been farming for a long time and want to change the direction of their farm. So, you know, we want to try and educate people about agroecology. Not only Agroecology in terms of not using chemicals on your land and thinking about how to recycle nutrients and things like that, but also how farms fit into the wider food economy and thinking about the ideas of reforming the food system from top to bottom. You know, thinking about the right to food um, and the, all the different sorts of legislation that protects fair prices for farmers and how we can make accessible food you know, fair for everybody. It's all about that community and that's that key part for me, it's, it's growing the community around you in a way that you can all then share those skills, you can progress and you can push for a better future just by getting your hands dirty in that soil. Of all generations, the knowledge and the desire to make change exists and that's not what we're missing, we're just missing a little bit of connection and I think that's why I was so interested to be here was to just meet people that are practitioners of what I have studied and meet people that are working on farms that maybe have things to improve on or have tried and failed at stuff and just the, the willingness to make mistakes we don't see that in our culture so it's just been yeah it's been great. We've focused a lot on the social side of things, the networks, understanding the broader aspects of agroecology and that's been really fascinating and um, hearing some of the talkers as well has been really inspirational, it's been really energising. In terms of the fundamentals, you know, it's bounded in terms of practice theory and principles but it does draw, you know, as we've just been saying about, you know, the people, the community, just that sense of what's your part in it. Um, you know, just sort of heading outwards, it's, you know, and where do you go from that? So, uh, yeah, it's pause for thought and um, a lot of reflection. It's been really interesting to see the diversity of people that have come from all over. Um, some who are academics or studying and others who are practicing on farms or in urban or rural areas. and at all, all at different stages on their own on their own journey. Everyone's got a role to play in agroecology and the last two days has been amazing um, at both at Farm Ed and here at Conigree Farm. We've had farmers, growers, data scientists, butchers, people from various um, conservation organisations, a whole range of different people from different backgrounds coming together and not only learning about agroecology but also beginning to apply that knowledge to overcome challenges at the farm level and also at the food system level. Um, and it's been an amazingly inspiring couple of days just to see how quickly people can come together to create solutions um, and really have a sense of being part of a wider movement to create change.
Agroecology is all about diversity. It's about biodiversity, diversity of cropping and stocking, and diversity of people. People are crucial. Ultimately, it's about feeding the world. It's about food sovereignty. It's about short supply chains. It's about food equity. Can we feed the world in an agroecological system? Yes, we can. I think ultimately it's the only way we're going to feed the world. I've enjoyed myself immensely being involved in this today. Personally, I found that this is so important, getting us all together from farm managers, farmers, growers, and all of us sharing the knowledge and learning about agroecology. For us to really build a better food and farming system, one that's truly agroecological and fair for not only the natural environment but for people too, then people need to understand how it works. They need to understand how to manage their land as an ecosystem, but also how to be a part of the wider ecosystem which is a just and equitable society. And all of that is training because it's a lot of knowledge to understand the context that we're operating in. I work on policy for the Land Workers Alliance. I talk to government all the time about how they can build a better food and farming system. And if we as citizens and as farmers who are part of that food system don't understand how it really works, then we'll never be able to really change it. So my contribution to this course is to educate people about things like fair price, fair pricing policies, about localised food systems, about shorter food miles, how these can be solutions to the climate and nature crisis, how we can think about policies that make healthy food accessible to everybody like public procurement policies or you know um, tax, tax policies that take away the power from the supermarkets. All these things are a part of agroecology as well and we need to understand that so that we can really fight for a better food system. It's been great having the course here at Conagree. Um, day two we learnt lots about diversity, lots about enterprise stacking and the principles of agroecology. I describe myself as an agroecological, pasture-fed, holistic, regenerative organic farmer. Can you be all of those? Yes, you can. It's complex, it's hard, but it's great fun too. Agroecology is also about enjoying what we do and enjoying producing food and managing the countryside.